Hi, this is Mike with the third in the four part series about counting. Here I have a list of tutorials on the Excel Trainer website. Some, not all, of the tutorials have a video associated with them. The videos are all hosted on YouTube and I want to count how many videos I have. So the first thing I'm going to do is to convert the range which goes from A2 to D81. I think it's 81, let me just check. Yeah, A2 to um, D81. I'm going to convert that into a table. If you want to know more about tables, then go and have a look at the second tutorial in this four part series. To do that in Excel 2013, I make sure my cursor is in one of the cells in the range that I want to convert and go up to insert and select table. Make sure the range is correct, which it is. It's worked out what it thinks the range should be, and that is correct. And make sure we have my table has headers ticked and click on OK. And now that range has been converted into a table. I'm going to rename the table. At the moment, the table is called table three. So I'm going to rename it and I'm going to call it tutorials videos. sure I press enter to complete the name and I'm going to insert a blank column at column D. Don't need it to be that wide. It automatically increases the size of the table. The table now goes to column E and I'm going to change the heading to be uh, video. And then I'm going to go down column D and I'm going to add the letter Y, but only where there is a video. So I'm not going to do every one of them. Just do a few of them. Wrong one there. So how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I don't want to manually have to count how many videos I've done, so I'm going to use a function to do that. And I'm going to use the count if function. The count if function counts the number of times the cells in a given range match a given criteria. Now in this spreadsheet, the range is actually a specific column in the table. I'm going to put my function into A1 and I'll put an equal sign and count if, open brackets. Now the range, as I said in this case, is uh, the video column in the table called tutorials videos. So the way you do that is to put tutorials videos. And the great thing in this version of Excel is it comes up as you start typing with the uh, names of either ranges or tables. So I'll just select that one, save me retyping everything. Then I want an open square bracket. And it then gives me all the headings from the table called tutorials videos. I want the video heading, double click that, close my square brackets. And that is the first element or the first argument of the countif function. That is the range. It's the name of the table, and then in square brackets, the name of the column, comma. And then the second argument of the countif function is the criteria I want it to count. So in this case, I want it to count how many Y's there are. So because it's text, it goes in quote marks, close my brackets and press enter. And we get eight. So let's go over and delete one of those Y's and that should give us seven which it does. So you can see it updates. And if I was to add another row into this table and add a Y into the video column, that would update as well. Now, in the final part of this mini series of tutorials about counting, I'll show you how to count the number of videos without adding this extra column.